Welcome, Pisces. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm the Empress. I'm back, 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 guys. So I have a new spread that I want to do. Um, and this is going to involve Twin Flame, okay? I normally don't like to, you know, tell someone that someone is their Twin Flame, someone isn't their Twin Flame. So you can take the reading. If it resonates, good for you. If it doesn't, then just check out your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. You can find your readings there, okay? But this is for the ones who particularly... Um, feel that a person is their twin flame maybe you guys are in separation and you're wanting guidance so take it as it applies okay if you are new to the channel welcome don't forget to click the bell to subscribe and don't forget to like the video comment below if this resonates with you as well as um, share the video, okay? You never know who needs to hear this. All right, so this is going to be for Pisces, okay? Um, Pisces, let's see what's going on with your twin flame, okay? Um, let's see what messages they uh, they have, okay, in regards to how they're viewing this relationship. What messages does Pisces twin flame have for Pisces? All right, Pisces, let's see. What message does Pisces twin flame have for the Pisces, please? All right, Pisces. Okay. I want to keep going, but we'll keep going if I need to keep going because something most definitely is going on here. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, I have deception. I have deception. Okay. And without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, some of you Pisces are going through a third party situation or your twin flame is in a third party. Somebody here is in a third party, okay? Because I got third party here. We got third party, okay? What I also have here, and it came out in the reverse, but we have conclusion, okay? It came out in the reverse, so this is basically like the world card, okay? The world card upright is when a chapter is closing um, and done and completed and you're going to a new phase. I feel like someone, someone hasn't closed a chapter with a third party here. Someone here is most definitely playing the victim, okay? Someone here is playing the victim. And then we got the answer is yes, okay? Wow, the answer is yes. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's see what's going on. What message does Pisces Twin Flame have for Pisces? We have third party. Why is third party here? All right, I have self-indulgence. Okay, so someone is very full of themselves. Someone is very confident in themselves. Someone is, um, you know, focused on themselves, okay? Like, they they could feel like you are very self-absorbed. Um, or if you aren't that way, they feel that they're coming off. They're, they have the feeling that you're coming off as very self-absorbed. And then we got the chaser. So maybe they feel like you want them to chase you, okay? But there is possibly a third party involved here. Why is third party here for Pisces? Okay. 
lots of pentacles here very much so somebody is very self-absorbed someone is very much so you know focused on their money and their pentacle and whatever they have going on because i got the nine of pentacles as well as the ten of pentacles so somebody here feels very 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 single someone is moving like they're very very single Someone is focused on their career, their finances, their business, their money, their family, their legacy, like very much so like someone is focused on bigger and better things like goals and the things that they want to obtain. Okay. And then I got the seven of pentacles. Yeah, most definitely someone is, someone is most definitely, um, you know, planting seeds and waiting for their harvest. Okay. Someone may be, um, they could be wondering what you're doing or how you're doing it, Pisces. But I'm just getting a feeling like someone here most definitely feels, they feel like you are, you know, being deceptive, okay? I want to see why conclusion is here in the reverse. Why is conclusion here? All right, we got the Grim Reaper. We got the snake and the palm tree. Okay, so something has not completed. A cycle has not come to a completion. But I got the Grim Reaper here, which is the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay, I got the Grim Reaper here. I got the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder and there could possibly be another person. Okay, okay. And then we got palm tree, which is stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility. Like this is basically like the home life and security. Okay, so possibly there is a marriage here. Okay, with these two cards, I feel like there may be talks about a divorce or a separation. Or there was this is someone that you possibly was married to. Okay, but there could have been um, some sneakiness going on in this situation. And I feel like it hasn't come to a full completion, like something, that chapter isn't closed. Like the person, your, your other person has not fully gained closure from this situation, okay? I want to see why victim is here. Why is victim here? They could feel like you're trying to play the victim. Yeah, they feel like <laughs> they feel like you're meeting up with other people. You're having dates. You're going out on dates with people. Okay, um, you're you got friendships. You got stuff going on. We got coffee cup. Okay, and this is when you're having out. You know, having dates, going out on dates with other people, making new friends. You know, having a social life, okay? But they feel like you're trying to play the victim here. Um, but but somewhere in shape or form, we got hammer here at the bottom of the deck. And we also have stabbed in the back. Lots of uh, malicious energy. I feel like someone feels very malicious towards you. Like they are really in their feelings about this situation, Pisces. I got stabbed in the back. I feel like they could be still holding on to some type of heartbreak or pain or there's a separation here or holding on to the uh, some sort of deception and they want to sabotage something like they they're wanting to um with hammer here when i see hammer i'm thinking like somebody who wants to break down off the walls who wants to sabotage um if you are dating or talking to other people you know they they aren't there for it they don't want to hear it see or any of that they're not there for it okay and they could be feeling like you're trying to play the victim in this situation so why is the answer is yes here oh we got the grim reaper the grim reaper Ooh, okay the answer is yes so for some of you this is a marriage most definitely we got wedding rings and the grim reaper so this is definitely like an ending okay for some of you guys this could have been most definitely been a marriage that was sabotaged okay for someone here playing the victim um and someone possibly dealing and dealing and dabbling in third party situations okay the answer is yes i feel like this is um needs to come to an end um i don't know why the chapter is still open but 
there needs to be some type of ending, okay? There needs to be some type of ending here, okay? All right, let's see if I can get two more cards here. What other message does Pisces Twin Flame have for Pisces? All right, we got fresh start. Okay, give me one more card for Pisces. Ooh. All right, so we got winter, okay? We got winter here. All right, so let's see. I want to see where our fresh start is here because we just got the answer is yes. There's been some type of betrayal. With the Grim Reaper there, there's been some type of betrayal. Someone is deciding that something is over, and it most definitely could have something to do with the union, a wedding, um, a soul contract, okay? Um, everlasting promise. Like someone is has made a promise, and they've, you know, they have went back on their promise they reneged okay so someone here is feeling most definitely like someone stabbed them in the back and you know has gotten out of a soul contract or is trying to get out of a contract with them um something in that nature so let's see why fresh start is here nice fresh start here All right, I got not today, not dealing with something or someone is still hurt, avoiding this conversation, um, and someone is still angry here. So I feel like they want a fresh start. They want to start over, but they're not going to tell you that because they're mirroring your behavior, okay? Like if you're coming off towards them as, you know, I'm, I got other things going on. I'm doing this. I'm talking to that person. I'm doing that. They're mirroring that, okay? They're mirroring that, and they they don't want to be the one to say it. They don't want to be the one to say, let's start over. Let's start fresh. So they're going to continue to go with, we're done. We're over. This person is playing the victim. They got this going on. They have someone else. Like, they're going, that's, that's how they're viewing it. But really, deep down inside, they want a fresh start. They want a fresh start with you. All right, so let's see why winter is here. All right, I got addiction. Addiction, okay. So codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. Okay, whoa, what's going on? We got the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to the light, adapting, change, and heal. So there may be some type of, you know, expansion or something that's coming towards you within the winter, within um, December, January, February time. Um, someone, it could possibly, a lot of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. This card is most definitely Capricorn's energy, which is the devil card, okay? Addiction. And for some of you, this could most definitely be a Capricorn, okay? Um, this person could be very codependent, okay? They may have like a very controlling energy. Like they want to be, uh, want to control you or possess, possess you in some way, shape, or form. But I do feel like with the dragonfly here, things are going to be coming to the light. Let's see why. Give me another card for winter, please. The Grim Reaper, look at this. This keeps coming out, okay? This keeps coming out. I wanna see why this is here. We got keys on the ring. Okay, so it looks like someone is possibly with the Grim Reaper here and keys on a ring. Someone might possibly has a lot of options that they may decide to cut off or they may want you to cut off all of your options, okay? Because I, I got two cards here that talks about options, okay? And the Ten of Swords is cutting that off, ending that. Okay, so by the winter, 
I feel like someone is possibly, they could be possibly cutting off their options or wanting you to cut off yours. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more card for winter. We got a runner here. <laughs> Someone is running. Someone is most definitely the runner. Okay, so this is the runner's energy. So if you're, you know, in twin flame relationships, you normally have a chaser and you have a runner. And they're possibly the runner here. Okay, they could be the one that's doing the running. All right. And I feel like winter, when winter comes, uh, December, January, February time, I feel like this is the tower. Okay, lightning. This is the tower. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, some shocking news comes. This is going to take you by surprise, Pisces. Something's going to take you by surprise about this runner, okay? Something's going to take you by surprise. All right, let's see if we can get three more cards here. What message does Pisces Twin Flame have for Pisces? This is a lot of cards. Okay, let's see. We got pride and ego. So someone <laughs> is most definitely doing things based off of their ego. We got divine feminine. Okay, and as well as refocus. And we also have surrender. All right. Wow. I feel like some type of action is getting ready to be taken as well. We got action at the bottom of the deck, okay? And I also have contemplation. So someone is definitely contemplating on taking some type of action, okay? Somebody is contemplating on what action that they need to take, okay? So let's see what's what here. We got pride and ego. Let's see what this is about, pride and ego. Twin flames, look at that. Twin flames. This is about your yin to your yang, balance, union, coupling, complementing each other. Okay, let's get another card. Pride and ego. Whew. Somebody is very egotistical. You got self-indulgence again. So somebody here is very egotistical, very egotistical, okay? Somebody's pride is really, really big. And then we got soulmates, okay? So maybe both of you guys are like this. Both of you guys possibly are carrying this energy because we got twin flame and soulmates here. Soul connection, a partnership, an agreement, a soul contract that you have with this person. And this person is very, very passionate about you. We got passion, but they're also watching your ass, okay? They're also watching you, okay? They're watching what you do. But you could be coming off to them as very, you know, prideful, like you think you're all that type energy, they do see that you are maybe doing shadow work, um, possibly working on your self-worth, and you're focusing on yourself, okay? There's some type of agreement or soul contract here, most definitely. We got divine feminine. Why is divine feminine here? Maybe you have stepped into your power, okay? Oh, they may be trying to break that. We got acts. They may be trying to break that, but see, this is it. We got the chaser. So someone here is now being the chaser. Someone is now being the chaser, all right? So past energy, well, present energy, we just looked over present energy, and it looks like they wanted a fresh start, and this possibly was going to happen around wintertime. Past energy, it looks like someone found out about a third party and they tried to play the victim here. So now it looks like someone here is chasing someone here and trying to sabotage um, what, what you may possibly have built, which is your self-worth, okay, which is your... Um, you know, anything that you've worked on to make you a better person, anything that you've done um, for, for you. I feel like 
they may be trying to sabotage that okay we got breakup they possibly are trying to stop this pattern they may be trying to like give you the silent treatment because they they may feel like you think too much of yourself okay and I and I I hate to say it like that, but some men are just like that. It could be vice versa. We got surrender here. Why is surrender here? They may want you to surrender something. And this divine feminine as well, too, could be a mother motherly energy. Someone's mother could be involved, or you know, you could be someone's baby's mother or something to that nature. I got stabbed in the back, okay? Surrender and stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Wow. Why is stabbed in the back here? Whoa. The butterfly. The relationship evolving in the next phase. So someone stabbed somebody in the back and I feel like somebody felt sacrificed here. Somebody felt sacrificed. Like this relationship can't go to the next level because someone stabbed them in the back. And somebody felt like they were a sacrifice here. Someone felt, feels as if they were a sacrifice. Let's see why refocus is here. We got love, okay? Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Okay, so someone here is possibly going to be refocusing. Um, we got shifting. I tell you, someone, whoever this runner is, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, out of the blue, their focus is going to shift, okay? And I feel like they're going to possibly stop all of this running and refocus, okay? Refocus to love, okay? Very interesting, Pisces. Very interesting read. Very, very interesting. You guys let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. And I will talk to you guys later. Ciao.